Hi guys, it's Jaru, and I'm here for a quick emergency update. So as most of you already know, Valve pushed out a major update last night, which added many things like this railing on Inferno's balcony, or these hideous looking boxes all around train. However, the community uproar has been all about these new animations and bugs that they have caused, as well as the new change concerning subtech, which makes bee hopping borderline impossible. Most of these will be patched out eventually, so I wouldn't be too worried about them. What will not be fixed, however, is that you can no longer watch all the demos with this current build. And when I say all the demos, I mean demos as old as 30 minutes before the update dropped. So now any frag movie creator, or hell, anyone who enjoys demo reviewing their own games for sake of improvement, was utterly screwed over because no one working at Valve is capable of playtesting updates before pushing them out. Well, fear not. Just like with the limited test build, I'm here to provide you all a temporary solution to this issue. So why is this happening? Well, ever since CS2 release, demos have utilized the game's animation framework, which functions differently on the Source 2 engine compared to Source 1. This means that if Valve changes the framework or behavior of basically any animation, all demos will automatically become incompatible with the newer framework. For these older demos to be compatible with the current build, Valve would have to include the previous framework into the current build, which would bloat the game's installation size. And since this is Valve we are talking about, who knows what type of problems would they cause by attempting to create any type of compatibility. After all, they never bothered to fix all demos after pushing out demo packaging update in early 2024, and to be fair, I think they have more important matters to take care of like the anti-cheat. Nevertheless, here's the tutorial. Press Windows key plus R and paste this command in to launch Steam's console function. Then copy paste this command to the console to download the base game. After that, if you are a Windows user, paste this. If you are a Linux user, paste this. All of the commands are in the description and if you don't trust me, I will provide you the Steam DB info page so you can download these yourself by checking each manifest ID and all that. Anyway, then wait for them to download it may take some time after all, we are downloading over 40 gigabytes of game files. Once the download is done, you will find these files from Steam app slash content folder on your C drive. Drag the files inside to wherever you want. Open HLAE, reselect the old CS2 EXE as your program part, start the game, and what a surprise, all the older demos are working again. Just keep in mind that you obviously cannot play online with this build, so you should probably only use it for demo viewing. Also, most of you probably already realized this, but you need to place your demos inside the game folder again, as well as any config file you may or may not use. Alright, FAQ time. Will I get VAC banned if I do this? Yes, you will. Next question. How large is the game folder? Around 55 gigabytes, so please clear out any disk space you may need before downloading these older D parts. Do I need bin content platform SDK underscore content or SDK underscore tools folders from CS2's installation folder? No, you do not. Thanks for watching.